I've been using 3D printers for a really long time now. And eight years ago, I uploaded a video to this channel called hashtag 3D printing on YouTube. The idea was simple. Five questions about 3D printing that I would answer and then pass on to the community to share their knowledge and insights into this incredible technology. And the community has exploded since then. There are so many people all around the world using 3D printing technologies to make incredible things in their own niche. And I want to hear all about it. So here's the idea. I'd love for you to make your own video using these five questions and the 3D printing on YouTube hashtag. So then I and anyone else on the internet can click that hashtag and watch those videos and learn more about you and your amazing experiences within 3D printing. So start with question number one. When did you first hear about 3D printing? I distinctly remember being in high school going on a trip to university. I don't remember which university it was because I wasn't really paying attention to the trip itself, but I came across a 3D printer and I believe it was a large Stratasys machine and it had printed this like turbine shape, which would be really hard to make in any other way except 3D printing or a very complicated CNC machine. And I was like, that's pretty cool, but I didn't really have a use for 3D printing yet. At the time, it felt way too out of reach, but I remember seeing the technology and thinking, that's something I'm gonna remember. And during my degree studying industrial design at University of Technology in Sydney, we had access to 3D printers, but again, they were large Stratasys machines and they were really expensive to use. Even at cost price, getting parts made on them was hundreds of dollars. But at the time, the 3D printing industry was changing, patents had expired, and thanks to the RepRap movement, machines were becoming more and more accessible. So in my last year of industrial design, I actually purchased my first ever 3D printer, which was a tier time up mini. And well, thanks to that, here's where I've ended up. Question number two, what was the first thing you 3D printed yourself? In my eye, there's two answers to this question. So when I was at uni, as I said, the machines were really expensive, but I actually designed this fastener for laser cut acrylic which would replace T-slots because T-slots in acrylic tend to crack it really easily. So I designed this hemispherical fastener and I actually got it printed on the Stratasys machines at uni for free because it was a tiny part and they just threw it in with other batches. And I still have that part. It's a sort of off-white color that the filament off Stratasys machines tended to be. And this really changed my thought process because it showed me that I can go from a design to a physical prototype within an hour. And that was like really, really cool to see. So as I said, I could have finally afford my first 3D printer at Tier Time Up Mini. And it actually arrived broken because in shipping, one of the clips for the bed had broken off. So I quickly modeled up a replacement rod support for the printer and printed it while holding the bed in place with my hand because one of the rod supports had broken off to print that replacement part to fix it the night it arrived. So I didn't have to wait for spare parts or anything like that. I repaired my own 3D printer, my first 3D printer, with the first part that it printed. Question three, do you view 3D printing as more of a hobby or more of a tool and why? This is actually something I ask people when they ask me what 3D printer should they buy. I say, is it more of a tool or more of a hobby to you? And especially in the last few years, this has changed quite a lot. If you go back five or so years, 3D printing in itself, if you wanted an affordable machine, was actually more of a hobby. They weren't that reliable. They weren't something you could just hit print and leave all the time. They'd need maintenance, they'd break down, they'd need repairs. Even the more expensive ones would need to be constantly sort of babied to keep them going. But now that's changing. Machines like the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, I've done zero maintenance to mine. It keeps saying to like, you know, uh, lubricate the rods. I haven't even done that. It's printing nonstop. And modern machines like the Mark 4S behind me, out of the box, I had that printing on the stream. It was actually a very short stream because it didn't need any work, it just printed. And I've always wanted this. I'll be honest, I've always viewed 3D printers as a tool that I can use for my creativity output. I wanna design something and I want to print it. I don't wanna fiddle and tinker and upgrade machines. I want them to just print what I send them. That has been the camp that I've been firmly in from the beginning. I love 3D printers as a tool. Nothing wrong with them being as a hobby. If you love to upgrade things, totally fine. But if you don't like cars, do you buy a car to get from A to B reliably, or do you buy a car to hop it up, change the engine, change the, 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 the MCU, change everything about it, tune it to make it exactly what you want? Hobby or tool? Neither is wrong, but I prefer to use 3D printers as a tool. Question four, what is the best 3D printer? According to you and your experience, and this is totally not a trap question because I am actually gonna make a video soon saying like, what is the best 3D printer? Because there isn't one, everyone's uses 
uh, and requirements are different. But if I was going to have just one 3D printer right now, and if I like lost everything scaled back, I would be totally fine with the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I know, I, I have access to huge machines, much more powerful machines, but the A1 Mini to me is just the perfect little workhorse. I use it when I travel, I take it, put it in the car and go to my parents and I can print stuff there for them or for me if I'm just designing on the go. It's really reliable, it seems to handle abuse totally fine and it just prints. It's just really a really good affordable little 3D printer and it's fast, really fast. I don't care for the, the multi-material unit at all, but the machine standalone, it's really, really good and it's what I would uh, stick with if I only had one right now. And question number five, what is your number one bit of advice for beginners? My number one bit of advice for beginners is to learn 3D modeling. 3D printing is an incredible technology that can take the digital 3D world and turn it into a tangible reality. So wouldn't you want to do that with your own ideas? It like is something that's so powerful and worth the effort learning. There's programs like Tinkercad that are designed for school kids but I know adults use it to make incredibly powerful complex models as well. And it's free and it runs in the browser. It's totally accessible. Then there's stuff like Fusion, which can do incredibly complex assemblies. Onshape, which runs in the cloud and has a free plan. And there's so many different modeling programs, even free form modeling, like Nomad Sculpt, which runs on a tablet. And that is like sculpting virtual clay. So I highly recommend if you're interested in 3D printing, try learning 3D modeling so you can make exactly what you want. There's nothing wrong with downloading models online that are fun or functional, but if you really want something that's yours, definitely worth learning how to make it. And that's my answers to these five questions, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag my good old buddy, Joel from the 3D Printing Nerd. We actually did this questionnaire way back in the day, eight years ago. So dude, I'd love to hear your updated answers. And I'm also gonna tag Ali. They make amazing electronic and 3D printing projects. And I would love to hear your answers to these questions as well, because you have such incredible insight into the creative process. And guys, if you don't wanna make a video, that's totally fine. In the comments below, leave me your answers to these questions. I read every comment and I'd love to hear what this community is up to now. Because we have grown so much as a community and the future is really looking bright for the accessibility of 3D printing and its ability to empower creativity through technology. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.